I just want you all to know that I was raised a Catholic. I've been to other Christian churches, and uh, I have never felt more at home than now. Um, I don't know any of you, but I, I feel like I'm with my family. Um, I'd like to ask Allah to give you all blessings, your family, your children, your relatives, you, all of us, so that we can prosper in this world that is full of chaos, and that when we are tempted, that he is there to help us, to guide us, to stop us from making a mistake. And when we do make mistakes, I'm sure that we could ask for his forgiveness and um, learn from those mistakes. I'm proud to be here. Um, I, I came here of my own will. Uh, nobody asked me to be here. Nobody forced me to be here. Uh, might be on the FBI watch list now, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm truly happy. Thank you all very much. May Allah bless you all. George Collins, the time and uh, so the office will be repeating it, and this is a statement that you say just once with your mouth and you affirm with your heart, and we're all witnesses, your brothers and sisters, and uh, you are our equal in humanity, now you're a brother in faith after you say this. So uh, I'll hand it over to Office, and he will do it with you, inshallah. So hi, everyone. Such an honor to be here, and this is the first time I'm doing this. And you nailed it on the head. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but you made it so beautiful. You nailed it on the head by saying that I feel home. And the reason for that is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in the movement, the movement, the people that are sharing the same faith, they're all uh, brothers in faith. So now you're entering that faith. So of course you're sitting with your brothers. How can you not feel home? And um, so there's so much to say, but the one thing I'd like to really mention is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we show them our signs in the horizons everywhere. A tree could be a sign for someone. So it, it really depends on the person. So for some, it, um, it, it clicks when he sees, uh, hears Allah. For some, when he hears the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or anything. So for you, whatever that was, um, such a great timing, such a great timing. Right now you're entering into Islam. As Brother Muni said, everything is getting wiped off. So every every child is born with a deal of fitter with um, no sense. So that's how exactly you are now. So, um, and of, yeah, exactly. So we're all... When we are born into this world, we, our souls, all, is already in submission to the one who has created us. It's later on, our parents that are leading us to whatever religion they're following, but um, now you're coming back to the religion that we're, we're supposed to be in. Yeah, we're actually, exactly. This is why but some of the scholars, they don't call it conversion, they call it reversion. Because we were already born with that faith. So, technically, we're not converting, we're reverting, we're going back to where we were supposed to be. SubhanAllah. Um, it's such an honor again. Um, and, uh, I'd love to do it. I can't wait. Okay, um, what would you say is true about the parents and stuff? There's actually a, a poster I have of uh, a gentleman holding a baby up. And then down below, there's a Christian symbol, there's a Jewish symbol, there's a Muslim symbol, and you know, so the parents do force the child into a different path than what God, you know, originally meant for him. We're, we're designed to worship one creator. Only one God. We're designed that way. It's in our, it's it's in our it, that's why we're always, when we have, when we have, uh, when we have tribulations, when we have even even an atheist has been in the airplane, he's flying an airplane and you get a little bit of turbulence. Hey, if there's a God up there, please guide me. You know, because we're deep down inside, it's in our soul, it's in our core that we worship our Creator alone and nothing else. And 
And so when somebody reverts, and that's why we call it reversion, is because you're going back to that original concept of worshiping one creator. Yes. And, and growing up in Catholicism, I always felt it was not right, or just why should I go through the Virgin Mary or St. Patrick or St. to speak to God when I can just speak to God? You know, why do I need some an intercessor? You know, it just didn't seem right at all, even back then, you know, before I knew anything about, you know, being Muslim or uh, the Muslim culture. It just, God hears me. You know, I, I, I don't need to say a thousand Hail Marys or something like that. You know, um, it's me and Allah. God. Allah. Allah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, Ashadu, Ashadu, Allah, 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 Yes, so your If I didn't say that perfectly, I apologize. You're totally fine. You actually did it better than I will learn some Arabic, I promise. Inshallah, inshallah. So the translation is? Inshallah. Yes, okay. And you want to repeat the translation as well? So you're saying, I bear witness? I bear witness. Do you want me to repeat? Yeah, repeat. repeat. Okay. I bear witness that there is no one that there is no one worthy of worship. Worthy of worship than Allah. Than Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, peace be upon him, peace be upon him, is his messenger. Is his messenger. Yes. Slave and messenger. Slave and messenger. Yes. So welcome to the fold of Islam. Congratulations. Please. Please. <laughs> yeah. I guess at this moment, <laughs> at this moment, he's purer than a baby because mm. all his good deeds are passed on. Nothing like putting stress on me, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Saying, I'm just saying. And you know what? At this moment, he doesn't have any bad deeds, which means when he prays, God is most susceptible to his prayer. So we ask for him to to pray for us. Because we are all men at this moment, and you know what? We need we need forgiveness as much as we can. And well, if that is true, then please, Allah, all these people here in front of me, and and can see the video, please bring them peace, fortune, blessings for them and their family, and forgive their sins. Because you are the great Allah Akbar, and can do anything you want if you please. You're going to get a lot of hugs right now. <laughs>